Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's take a look at the final hook, which is the use ref hook. When it comes to use ref, there are primarily two scenarios as a read only ref for a DOM element or as a mutable value, which can behave like an instance variable. Let's look at typing both those scenarios. In the components folder, I've created another folder called ref. Within the folder, I've created two files. One for each of the scenarios I've just mentioned. Let's begin with domref.tsx. This file contains a component where we use the ref hook to focus an input element when the component mounts. Let me go over the code. We first invoke the use ref hook passing in null as the initial value. The return value is stored in a constant called input ref. We set this constant equal to the ref prop on the input element. We then access the DOM element in the use effect hook to focus the input. Pretty straightforward use case, which you might have seen when learning about the use ref hook. Of course, we have the TypeScript errors, which we are now going to solve. If you hover over the error, you can see that TypeScript is complaining, object is possibly null. So we can't call focus on null. To fix this, we can simply make a check using optional chaining. So current question mark dot focus. When we do that, we get a new error. Property focus does not exist on type never. Now this has to do with the reference type. And to fix this, we have to specify the type of the DOM element. Since input is the HTML element we are referencing, after use ref on line four, add angle brackets and specify HTML input element. And when we do that, TypeScript is happy. Now there are different types of HTML elements, so pick the one that suits your requirement. A bonus tip here is if you're sure your reference is never null when you access it, you can add the non-null assertion when invoking use ref. So after null, add the exclamation sign. This allows us to call focus without optional chaining. So these are some of the points to keep in mind when using the use ref hook for DOM references. Let's now take a look at the second scenario to manage mutable refs with the use ref hook. Now I have another file called mutable ref.tsx. The component does seem complex, but it really is not. It is a simple timer component. Let's go over the code. First, we have a timer state variable to keep track of the number of seconds. We then create a reference and store it in a constant called interval ref. When the component mounts, we invoke the set interval function to increase the timer value by one every second. The return value of set interval is stored in interval ref dot current. So we are mutating the reference value. To make sure the timer is clear when the component unmounts, we call the stop timer function. Inside stop timer, we call clear interval passing in interval ref dot current, which holds the interval ID. I've also added a button to stop the timer. Let's now fix the TypeScript errors. First, let's hover over the error inside use effect. Type number is not assignable to type null. Now, if you're not aware, set interval returns a numeric value which is the ID of that interval. However, we have told TypeScript that useRef is of type null only. 
So let's add number or null as the type. Angle brackets, number or null. With that, our first error is fixed. If I hover on the error inside stop timer, argument of type number or null is not assignable to parameter of type number or undefined. Now you could change null to undefined and the error is fixed. Or you can leave it at null and make a check inside stop timer as well. So if interval ref dot current, only then call window dot clear interval passing in the appropriate value. TypeScript is happy once again. So this is pretty much how you type the use ref hook. For DOM references, specify the DOM element type. For mutable references, specify the appropriate type. For example, number in case of set timeout or set interval. With that, we can conclude typing all the hooks in React. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.